So, let's actually do something with the phase. Uh, another super amazing big brain DSP concept I'm going to do is let's flip the phase of the signal. So what we need to do, uh, let's visualize this a little bit. Let's go to Desmos calculator. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna say, let's plot a sine wave sine of x and then let's plot another one uh, the cool thing about desmos is when you plot uh, multiple things that'll make them different colors for you x and then we can so you can see that there's a blue one and a red one and we can actually visualize that by just adding two to that one so you can see that they're on top of each other uh, so let's pretend that they're you know at the same spot just to visualize it we want to invert the signal okay so we want at every point on the uh, sine wave to be the opposite or the inverted uh, point on the original wave so for example whenever x is 1 we want it to equal negative 1 when x is uh, I don't know where's 0.5 somewhere right here 0.5 we want it to equal negative 0.5 so that the phase flips so the easiest way to do that is to multiply it by negative one. Check that out. So you can see that we've multiplied the wave by negative one and we've completely flipped the polarity of it. So at every X value on the blue line at the same X value on the red line, their combination should equal zero. So at one, it should be one on blue and negative one on red. At 0.5-ish on blue, it should be negative 0.5-ish on red. And you can take that logic and extend it all the way throughout both waves. And at every point at both waves, their combination should equal zero. Meaning if we flip the phase of the signal in juice, we should be able to uh, make another track without the plugin and it will have the flipped phase. So they should cancel each other out. But let's see if that works. We've got, uh, raw gain oh right okay so right now the phase toggle is a bool right which means true or false so what we're going to want to do is if phase is true if it's on we want to flip the phase and if phase is false if it's off we want to not flip the phase so we can do that pretty easily with an if statement so let's just do that um let's get a some kind of variable from uh the tree state so let's say tree state dot get raw parameter value and this is going to be phase i believe we called it cool so let's do an if statement if uh phase if phase is true we want to flip the phase So to flip the phase, we just uh, multiply it by negative one. And then if phase is not true, if it's false, uh, we're just gonna do our processing without the phase flip. Let's build that. Okay, I'm gonna um, turn off automation. Okay. So let me make a duplicate track with the same and let's ignore our plugin for a second. Okay, so we should have two signals playing. Whatever. So let's use Logic's gain plugin. And we'll, let's see, I don't want to turn the volume down. I just want to flip the phase. So let's flip the phase. Uh, hit play. Look at that, silence. Because uh, the phase is flipped on one signal. So we know that works. Or I should say, we know, we know flipping the phase does something. I'm not just lying to you. So we're back to no plug-in. So let's put ours on and see if it does the same thing. Okay, we have our plugin.
Big brain. Cool. And that's pretty much it. Let's let's check out the other um, audio parameter. Now, I'm, I don't think we're going to have to actually do anything because I can't think of anything to do with it yet. But there is another one called choice. So let's do STD make unique uh, juice audio parameter choice. Okay, I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, whatever. Choice. Okay, so choice. Um, oh, yeah, okay, so choice uses the same kind of thing. So we've got choice, choice, oh, I need quotes. And then it takes in a string array as your choices, and that's a juice thing. So to do that, we could say juice uh, string array choices is equal to and then we could just make some random things that don't even or let's say this let's pretend that this is some kind of uh plug-in module so let's say um like some kind of rack thing so let's say compressor let's say eq and then um i don't know reverb so we pass in choices here, and then you also pass in what choice you want to default to. So the first one would be zero, so I'll just do that. And then we have to add this to the vector. Let's clean up the, I have no idea why that always happens right here. That, and let's build it. We're going to do it in standalone. Just press play. Cool. Check that out. Here's choice. It makes a little drop down menu thing. And we can see the choices compressor EQ reverb. Cool. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Check out my streams over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash doctor underscore bruising, where I live stream juice and audio development tutorials on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 530 Central Standard Time. I'd love for you to drop into the chat, ask me questions live, and interact with me on stream. And don't forget the stream is also on my YouTube at Dr. Bruzen. You can also download the Viator DSP library that I'm currently working on to make juice development even easier and faster with awesome looking user interface objects and DSP classes. There's also a documentation page for it, which is pretty cool, and you can find both of them on my GitHub. All of my current plugin releases are on my Patreon at Viator DSP and can be downloaded for free, but consider becoming a patron to continue to support me making free audio plugins. I'd also like to share two awesome Discord communities, Viator DSP and the audio visual community. Both are dedicated to all things audio, so music production, recording, mixing, mastering, uh, coding, juice, pretty much anything. We would love to build an active community of like-minded folks who can learn from, collaborate with, and just hang out with and do whatever. The link to all these resources are down in the video description, and I can't wait to see you there. All right, see you next time.